everyone, my name is Mary Margaret if you are new here and if you are not new here and this is the second, third or fourth time you've been on my channel, welcome back. Today I wanted to do something that is kind of going to be a rare thing for me which is to record a book haul. And this is because I own so many books that I really shouldn't buy any books but I have an exception today because I had ordered some books from my friend Daisy's new secondhand bookshop which is called The Fox's Howl and I'm going to link it for you below so you can check it out and see if you have anything you're interested in on there. But I just wanted to show you what I picked out. The first book that I picked out is this which is The Lilac Girls. This one is a novel by Martha Hall Kelly. From my understanding, Lilac Girls is about three women whose lives become intertwined during World War II. And so we see how all of that unfolds and also what happens after World War II. Again, from my understanding, I'm not 100% sure. And one of the things that I do sometimes with books is I go into them without knowing exactly what's going to happen. And that's what I'm trying to do with this book here because I have found that since I've read quite a bit of historical fiction that takes place during World War II specifically, it's generally better not to know because it's not that you can't find different stories to tell, but because it's that same time period, that same historical event, I do think that sometimes I'll be like, well, I'll read that later. You know, I've already read this book pretty recently. So I'm trying to think about it in terms of it being a very new story to me and so the less that I know the better. But I will definitely keep you all updated if I do read it soon what I think of it and yeah I'm very excited to get into this one. The next book that I got is William Faulkner As I Lay Dying. Sounds very uplifting for 2020 and 2021 having been recent and current years, right? This actually looks like quite a short Faulkner book. Um, I'm very intrigued by this one. I have read two thus far of William Faulkner's books, which are The Unvanquished and The Sound and the Fury. Of the two, I believe The Sound and the Fury was my favorite, but obviously he has quite a few other popular books. This one is probably the one that I think is one of his most critically acclaimed, but I couldn't say that for sure. I find his writing style to be very interesting and I just want to know more about it because I have a lot of family from Mississippi and uh, so understanding the perspectives of people in Mississippi, especially within the past century, is really interesting to me. As with pretty much all the Faulkner books that I have ever read, this is the story of a family. Generally speaking, with Faulkner books, I think that's one of the things I find the most interesting is how he talks about family dynamics family history and how you can't necessarily escape who you are as a result of being a part of whatever family you are in, which is not necessarily something that I agree with, but I find it really interesting in his stories. And I think this is going to be just like his other two books that I've read by him in that way. But I'm curious to see how it's different. And like I said, this seems to be quite a lot shorter than the other two books I've read by him. And I think I can actually get to this one this year. I really do want to read through all of his books. He is supposed to be one of the great literary figures. And I think this is a good one to kind of get back into his work because it's been at least three years since I read a book by him. So I really need to ease my way back into his work. The next book that I got is Three Theban Plays by Sophocles. I am very behind on classical literature in terms of Greek literature and I feel like in particular I'm not very well um, versed in the sort of theatrical literature and I feel like that's really something where I'm lacking knowledge and I feel like this is a good place to start among some of the other plays that I own that I want to read from ancient Greece. And this is just a beautiful copy. I have never really not liked any of the Barnes and Noble editions. Usually they are really nice ones. And I also like all of the footnotes and everything. So I think this is gonna be a really good one to have. The next book I have is probably the one that looks most on brand for me. And that is Rules of Civility by Amor Towles. I hope I'm saying the author's name correctly. I do need to double check about that, but this is the same author of A Gentleman in Moscow, which is another book I really want to read. But if this doesn't scream Mary Margaret, I don't know what does. From my understanding, this book is about a young woman who meets a young man 
and from this encounter she is going to climb the ranks of society and it's it kind of sounds to me like Vanity Fair almost. I haven't read Vanity Fair but I'm familiar with the story so it's interesting to know that about it and I'm curious to know how it will turn out. I will say on Goodreads this has a much lower average rating than A Gentleman of Moscow but I feel like with books like this either you're gonna love it or you're not gonna love it and I'm hoping I'm one of the people who loves it but regardless of that it's a beautiful book <laughs> um, and I am excited to give it a try and I think it'll be really interesting even if I don't end up loving it and the time period is something that I'm really interested in which is around the 1920s and I think it'll be a really good one so I'll definitely keep you guys posted if I do read it this year which I again am hoping to do. The last book I have to show from my haul from Daisy's store is Commonwealth by Anne Patchett. Now I have read about and seen things about Anne Patchett all over the place. I've seen this book in particular all over the place and more recently her book The Dutch House. And for whatever reason, in particular, this is the one that interests me the most. I'm gonna be completely honest, as an art person, this cover just intrigued me. Interestingly, this sounds like it's a family saga as well as, you know, the Faulkner book. I really enjoy stories that tell about families, their history and their dynamics, and I think this one is going to be quite interesting as well. Again, with this one, I read the synopsis for it, but honestly, it sounds so complicated that I just think I need to read the actual book in order to tell you more about what it is really about. And this is again one that I would really want to give you a review of it. And that's everything that I got from Daisy's shop, The Fox's Howl. And again, I would really encourage you to check it out. I absolutely love everything that I got and I am just thrilled. Like if I didn't know that they were secondhand books, I would have assumed they were brand new. <laughs> um, so I'm very pleased with them and I'm not just saying that because Daisy is my friend and I am just really excited about it. So that's all of these. Now I do have a couple other books I wanted to show and these are books that I got in December from my friend and from my sister and from my parents. The first book is from Kara from Wild Book Garden. I talk about her all the time. It's because she's amazing and she's one of my dear friends. And this is actually a really special book to both of us. It is called Blood Water Paint by Joy McCullough. This book is about the artist Artemisia Gentileschi, which I have a book about her. It used to be around here, but I rearranged my bookshelf, so I forgot I had moved it. But she is one of my favorite artists. And this particular book is actually a book in verse. You can see it, the format anyway. And it tells the story of Artemisia in her young adult years. And I loved this book. I read this a few years ago and the reason it's so special to me is because I read it because Kara recommended it and it was around the time I first met Kara on booktube and she's one of the main reasons I joined booktube in the first place. So the fact she gave it to me for Christmas was just really special and I love it. So thank you Kara. The other book that I got from Kara is one that I am so excited to read and that is Laura. This is by Vera Kaspari. Just wanted to double check that. And it has this gorgeous, gorgeous cover with Jean Tierney on the cover. And if you are familiar with old classic film of any kind, you probably have heard of the film Laura before. It is a film noir and it is one of my favorite movies of all time. And this is the book that that film is based on. And it tells the story of a detective who is solving the mystery of the murder of Laura, played by Jean Tierney in the film. And I did start this in December and I am loving it so far, but I have been trying to finish the books that I started earlier before I finish this one, but it is a very short book. So I am excited to get to this one and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So thanks again to Kara. Another book that I got around December was this, which is called A Pocket Book of Poetry. It's this gorgeous book and it has really pretty silver sides. And really it's just a compilation of really nice poems by all sorts of famous poets. And you know, as you would assume, and my sister and my brother-in-law gave it to me for Christmas and I think it's gorgeous. I'm excited to get into this and I think maybe it'll introduce me to some people I haven't read before. And I'm excited for that and I think it's just gorgeous. I'm probably just going to keep it on display so I can look at it. So thank you to both of you for that. 
And the last thing I have to show is a book my parents got me, and this is Sister Wendy on the Art of Christmas. And it is this gorgeous book by Sister Wendy Beckett, who was an art historian, but also a Carmelite nun. And she had this wonderful series on PBS where she toured museums and just talked about art. And I was mesmerized by that show when I grew up. All of her different shows were just so fun to me. And one of the reasons that I became an art historian is Sister Wendy Beckett. I just realized I'm covering her up and I shouldn't be. And so Sister Wendy put together all of these pictures of famous works of art that helped to tell the story of the nativity. And I'm so excited to read this, but I'm going to save it for next Christmas season. But it's a beautiful book. All right, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to some videos that I will be recording soon. I have a review of Wives and Daughters that I'm going to be sharing soon, as well as an announcement about some read-alongs that I'm going to be hosting in the near future. So I look forward to talking to you about that and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.